In this video, we're going to practice drawing the resonance structures for three different molecules, starting with the carbonate ion CO3 2 minus. We're going to start by adding up all the valence electrons in carbonate. We have four valence electrons in the carbon atom. We have a total of 18 valence electrons in the three oxygen atoms. And then we're adding two electrons due to the negative two charge. And that gives us a total of 24 electrons to work with. So we're gonna begin by arranging our atoms. We will put the carbon atom in the center with the three oxygen atoms around it. And we will connect those atoms, connect each oxygen atom to the carbon with single bonds, which uses up six of our available electrons, leaving us with 18. And we'll put those 18 electrons on the oxygen atoms as lone pairs. This uses up all of our available electrons, so we have none left. When we look at the carbon atom, we can see that it only has six electrons around it, which means that it does need two more. And we're going to give it two more by picking a lone pair from any one of the oxygen atoms and converting that lone pair to a double bond. Because we have three different oxygen atoms and any one of them could donate its lone pair to become a double bond, that means that we have three possible structures that we could draw. And in that situation, whenever we have a choice of which atom we're gonna use to make the double bond, we always say that we have resonance and we have to draw all possible options. So I'm going to start by placing the double bond in this position. We're, we're just gonna take one of those lone pairs and convert it to a double bond. And then we will place the double bond in this position, again, by taking one of those lone pairs and converting it to a double bond. And then last but not least, we will choose one of these lone pairs and convert that into a double bond. In order to complete this, always with resonance structures, we group all of them together with square brackets. And because this is a polyatomic ion, we need to put the charge outside of the square brackets in the upper right hand corner. Now just to check our work to make sure that we did this correctly, let's go ahead and calculate the formal charges of the atoms and we'll just do it for the central molecule. When you draw resonance structures, it's usually only necessary to calculate the formal charges for one of your structures. You don't need to do it for all three. So for, I'm gonna start with this oxygen atom, which is identical to this oxygen atom. So we're doing both of them at the same time. Six valence electrons for those oxygens minus the one bond that it has to carbon right here. And the one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding electrons. Six minus one minus six, that's a negative one. So each of those oxygens has a negative formal charge. Let's calculate the formal charge on this oxygen down here. Six valence electrons. This oxygen has two bonds and four non-bonding electrons. Six minus two minus four is zero. And then for our carbon in the middle, carbon has four valence electrons. This carbon atom has one, two, three, four bonds and no non-bonding electrons. So it has a formal charge of zero. And remember that once we get this finished, the formal charges on every atom in the molecule should add up to the overall charge of the whole entire molecule, which in this case it does. So this, what we have here, is the complete set of resonance structures for the carbonate ion. Let's practice our next example. We have the nitrite ion, NO2 minus. This has a total of five plus 12 plus one. That's 18 valence electrons for us to work with. Um, five for the nitrogen, six for each oxygen, and then one for the negative charge. The structure of the molecule is gonna have the nitrogen in the middle, with the two oxygens starting, connecting them with single bonds. That uses four of our electrons and leaves us with 14. And we will put lone pairs of electrons on our oxygen atoms to give them octets, which uses two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 electrons and leaves us with two more, which we will go ahead and put on the nitrogen. We can see that our central nitrogen only has two, four, six electrons around it, which does mean that it needs a couple more. And we are going to give it two more by taking a lone pair from an oxygen atom and turning it into a double bond. We've got two choices of where we could take the lone pair and we have two choices of where we could place the double bond. 
And that means because we have choices, that means we have resonance. So let's start by putting the double bond in this position. We'll take one of those electrons and make a double bond. And now we'll put the double bond over here in this position, take one of those electrons and make a double bond. So for this particular molecule, we only have two resonance structures. We only had two choices of where we could put the double bond. Let's go ahead and add up um, the formal charges for this version of the nitrite molecule. Uh, and let's start with the nitrogen. The nitrogen has five valence electrons. This nitrogen has one, two, three bonds and two non-bonding electrons. Five minus three minus two is zero. This oxygen, which is not the same as this oxygen, um, has six valence electrons. It has two bonds and four non-bonding electrons. Six minus two minus four is zero. And this oxygen right here, six valence electrons, one bond, and six non-bonding electrons. There is our negative formal charge. Remember, the sum of the formal charges has to add up to the overall charge. We have one more example, and this is the ozone molecule. The ozone molecule has a total of 18 valence electrons. There are six for each oxygen atom, and there's no charge on this. We're gonna start by connecting the three oxygen atoms together. And we're doing that with two single bonds, which uses four electrons, leaving us with 14. Our next job is to give the outer atoms octets and that is going to use 12 of our electrons, which leaves us with two more, and we'll put those two electrons on the central oxygen. This central oxygen only has two, four, six valence electrons, which means that it needs two more. So we could take those two from either one of our outer oxygen, which means that we have two resonant structures that we need to draw for this molecule. Remember, our resonant structures are always separated by these arrows. So let's start by putting the double bond on the left-hand side. We'll take one of those lone pairs and move the double bond at this position. Now we'll put the double bond on the right-hand side, take one of those lone pairs, put the double bond in this position. Now let's go ahead and calculate the formal charge for the three different atoms in this molecule. This oxygen atom right here Formal charge will be six minus two minus four is zero. This oxygen atom will be six minus three minus two is a plus one. So there's a positive formal charge there. Six minus three minus two. And our last oxygen atom will be six minus one minus six is a negative one. So there's a negative formal charge. Now remember, the sum of the formal charges has to add up to the overall charge of the molecule. This is a neutral molecule, so our uh, formal charges do add up to zero.